Hi and welcome to Jarvis Walker Brands Fishing Tips. Today we're going to run you through fishing hard bodies in the tropics. And here's a little barra to get the show rolling. So what we're doing is we're fishing here in the fork of the creeks and there's a snag situated right in the middle there and we're just casting across with hard bodies across the top of the snag, twitching it, twitching it so it goes over the snag and the barra coming up and nailing the hard bodies. All right, we'll let this little guy swim off and we'll catch his parents. Oh, oh. Oi, look at this. Got a big cod. Cod hit hard and they try and bury you in the timber, so it's got to go hard on them quickly to get them straight out of that structure. There we go. Estuary cod. Nice fish. Cod have incredibly large mouth and they can hit a lure much, much bigger than a typical fish would hit. We're using a bait caster here with a hard body and we're using a hard body with a, a larger bib so it can dive down pretty quickly. What we do is we just cast it across to the snags, twitch it down into the snag, you let it float up and over any of the sticks or twigs that hang across and then you recommence twitching. So you just keep twitching across the snag and then hopefully a barra or a jack comes straight out of that snag and just nails it. We're just casting hard bodies in the snags. We've got belted. It's another cod. Doing well on the cod. Here we're using a Quantum Smoke bait cast reel and a Gary Howard Barramundi rod. Another great little outfit you can use, uh, especially for anglers on a budget, is the Rovex Airstrike bait caster reel. Uh, and we've got that spooled with 30 pound Rovex Airstrike braid and we've got it matched to a Rovex Revenge 8 kilo bait cast rod. Here we've got a trevally. You can see that you can catch a huge variety of species by casting hard bodies into the snags. Here we've got another, another species on the hard bodies. It's a little finger mark. These, these guys grow a lot bigger than this. They're really good fun to catch. Oh, and he's thrown it. All right, you get, oh, he's thrown it. So when you're casting lures for barra, it's extremely important to get the lures right into the snags. Um, if you're not occasionally getting hooked up on the timber, then, then you're not getting close enough. For more information on the gear we've been using, visit jarviswalker.com.au.